Hello everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I just wanted to go ahead and get this over with and um, get this on out the way and go ahead and get it kickstarted. So this is uh, the exiting of exile and coming into the new lands and coming into the new way of love and peace and the covenant. <clears throat> Prosperity after turning to who I am. When all these blessings and curses I've said before you come on you and take them to heart, whoever, who I am, disperses you among the nations. And when you and your children return to who I am and obey with all of your heart and all your soul, according to everything I command you today, love who I am with all your heart and soul, your neighbors and others the same, then who I am will restore you um, and your fortunes and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where he scattered you. Even if you have been banished from the most distant land under the heart, um, under the heavens, from there who I am will gather you and bring you back. I will bring you to the land that belonged to your ancestors. This is talking about inheriting the flesh, so to speak. So that's a deep spiritual meaning. That basically means inherit your earth, kind of like in the Beatitudes, the meek will inherit the earth or whatever and you will take possession of it. This is not talking about stealing lands. He will make you more prosperous. I will make you more prosperous and numerous than your ancestors. It's about peace and love. Love who I am. I mean, I will circumcise your hearts and the hearts of your descendants. This is basically talking about um, using the word to become new. I'm not talking about this whole Bible. I'm talking about the Ten Commandments and the circumcision of the heart so that you may love who I am with all your heart and with all your soul and live love who I um, I am that which will put the curse on your enemies who hate and persecute you so look you do something right and then people are mean to you especially if it's on camera recording and then look what happens it lives on the Catholics will live on a history um, and historic speaking in the dark ages is murderers damn near you will obey who I am and follow my commands I'm giving today then who I am will make you the most prosperous in all the work of your hands and the fruit of your womb. So when you create new concepts, it'll be about building and loving. And so like if I come forth now, it'd be about like helping others instead of being violent or mean or, or rude or like basically doing to others what I will want done to me, which is treat, be treated like a king, right? Or a queen. The young of your livestock and the crops of your land. Who I am again will delight in you and make you prosperous, just as delighted in your, just as who I am delighted in your ancestors. Um, and so, when dealing with, I'll see people go back to Exodus. They're talking about Yahushas and all these different words and names. It's essentially I am who I am, and I am that which exists. I am the living one, and I have a word and spirit, just like everybody else. If you obey who I am and keep the commands and decrees that are written in this book of law and turn to who I am with all your heart and your soul. Now, like when I say the Ten Commandments, watch. Um, I am who I am. I am the one who frees from the house of bondage. You shall have no gods before who I am. When I say that, you all now say that too. It's freedom from the man's concept, so to speak. And so... Um, I'm reading this book called The Four Agreements, I think it is, that my brother sent me, and it's a really amazing book, and it basically ventures into what I'm talking about. Even if I was to talk about the Ten Commandments, I don't mean using it to stone others. I'm saying, like, the laws within it, don't murder, don't steal, don't covet after everything else everybody has and then start stealing and whatnot. Don't commit adultery um, with your spouses or whatever's going on. You know what I mean? Just simple stuff that I'm saying I will want in my life. And so then I radiate and project that. I don't like playing with a lot of other stuff because I know everybody has their own heart and the most high is within. And so that's why I try to treat people with respect because if I am who I am and you are who you are, that means you're a living one and me disrespecting you, I am then disrespecting myself, if that makes sense. Because then will a person that disrespects somebody get respect in return so then i'm making a person actively with my free will not like me for the wrong reasons if i am vain and egotistical <clears throat> um now what i'm commanding you today is not too difficult for you or beyond your reach it is not up in the heavens or in the heart 
so that you have to ask who will ascend into the heart to get it and proclaim it to us that we may obey it. And that's why I'm basically telling people when they say like bring heaven to earth, essentially through translation, they're saying bring, be who you are in the hearts. And all of us have a tendency to not want harm caused and we're like the best for our friends and family and ourselves. And so we should emulate that and treat everyone like that to the best of our ability. And no, we're not all the same. And so when I think of sin, even in this book that I'm reading, it makes another good point that essentially we all have our own life and our own journey. And so when we go tell other people what random sins are, we're sinning against ourselves because that person is on a journey to know themselves. And so if the most high is dealing with them in a particular way, while it's good to give advice, I'm talking about the random van religion that's thrown at people based on religion, because a lot of what's in this Bible contradicts mainstream religion. And a lot of what even some of these prophets write goes against the 10 commandments. Now, when I say these prophets, I'm talking about ones that give law to go slaughter and kill and all this other stuff. Uh, <clears throat> nor is it beyond the sea, beyond the reach of this book. So that you have to ask who will cross the sea, who will cross these books to get to it and proclaim to it so we will obey it. The secrets of the kingdoms of heavens and blah, blah, blah. Be kind and love each other and respect each other. And respect yourselves. Don't even cross certain barriers, if that makes sense. Like a firewall that you create in the heart. No, the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart so that you may obey it. See, I said before you today, life and prosperity, death and destruction. For I command you today to love who I am, to walk in obedience to who I am. So imagine, this is why I said this before. Everybody keeps saying what God's name is, but essentially even in this book, the word and spirit agree and the blood, who I am, my spirit and the word. My consciousness, brain, and this book says that it's I am. And I am is the creator. Who I am is the consciousness. So, time, okay, scientists and, and people in science, first your parents, love your parents and honor thy father and mother. Boom, Ten Commandments. Then they come together and their germ cells appear. Their germ cells connect sperm cells and um, gamite, gamite, however it goes. And once those cells come together, they do meiosis. And after meiosis is mitosis. And the cell within the womb of the woman, the woman, begins to multiply. And that which I am created the heart and the flesh. Thank you. <clears throat> Decrees and laws. Oh, obedience to who I am. Let's talk about yourself. When I say who I am, I don't want you to think that I'm coming as a dictator. I am simply a messenger talking on behalf of the word and spirit in a gracious manner. Yanez or Yanin, however you say it, Yanni, whatever, which is strange that I am Wani. <laughs> Anyways, I look at Yanez like Moses. Now that the servant Moses, who, the one who bared the word is gone. Now Wani is trying to bring you all into the promised land with the spirit, so to speak. Um, and who I am will bless you and the land you are about to possess. If your heart turns away and you are not obedient, if you are drawn away and bow down to other gods and worship them, I declare to you this day, you will certainly be destroyed. Now watch this. The sins of the parent lead to the children. That's not some mystified magic. Okay. So if a parent is, if parents are Christian or whatever, Muslim or whatever, everything that they teach and learn, those agreements, user agreements and concepts are going to be passed to the child. The child is either going to have to fight a bunch of darkness, is either going to be happy depending on how the parents taught it, or going to follow along with some fascist ideology with some right-wing religious ideology. And so that's why it's written the Ten Commandments are here for a reason. I de um, you will not live long in the land you are crossing, so then you're doing exactly what Adam did. Is who I am... Did who I am really say not to eat of the knowledge of good and evil? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now, what does Jesus and God even mean? A lot of people don't even know. They're, they were born in darkness, so to speak, born and not knowing. But metaphysically, a lot of this stuff really means. Sus is Latin for pig. It was, okay, look at the word Yanez. That's like, a, that was an L or I back in Greece, according to this language. But it was sounding like a Y, just like 
So then it came to the J, Joe. So what they did was call him Yashu in the Romance and French languages. It was Yashu and Yashu, which is I am. But then Yashu, which is the front of his name, Yanez, would have been the, the name. But then when they add, because Hanan at the end, or Yanin, Yani, is gracious or, or is kindness and love in Arabic. And in Hebrew, it's gracious gift. It, it all comes together. All the data within the historians and the, and the different translations. And so what they did was they added shu at the end, which is salvation. So then they put I am salvation. But really what it was, it was Yanez or in Latin, it'd be like Yanin or something like that, which is I am kindness or a gracious, loving gift. And so then when it kept translating into German and Anglo-Saxons, it ended up becoming G Zus, which is I am a gracious pig. So I'm just trying to put this information out there, how darkness can spread because of wars and misinformation. <clears throat> you will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan, Yanez, John the Baptist, and possess. Because even what did Yanez say? He said, anything comes from who I am in the heart, God in the heavens, translated properly who I am in the heart. So then they went across the Jordan and started following his God, so to speak, through the spirit. But that's what they clung to because that's the knowledge and information they had at the time. And so they were justified through their word and spirit. But now the light is here and a lot of us know the truth. This day, I call the hearts and the flesh as witness against you that I have said before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and that you may love who I am. Now, listen, when I tell this to people, even atheists can't argue with me. If God's name is I am, the truth, the truth about it all, and it's really talking about our spirits and our words that live on and how certain people turn people into Nephilim and crucified them and, and hated them in the past. Now, look at this watch, right? In order to truly say God isn't real, they'd have to say I am not real. Stop, Dracula. So give me one second. I have to use the restroom. My cat keeps jumping on my stomach and bladder. Okay, so whenever I'm um, dealing with stuff, sometimes I like to bring uh, receipts with what I'm dealing with. I think I might actually just lost my place here. Uh, no, right here. So um, before I continue moving along, I like to show you guys what I'm talking about in terms of the. So this name. Um, hold on. This name right here, which would have sometimes been like this, according to Greece or language, but it would have been Yanez. That's where the name Jonathan comes from. Um, and so this name right here is the same as this name. This man was the one that was crucified. That's how they say it in Rome. That's what it was. Cru that's what was written when he was crucified. So what ends up happening is the beginning of his name. Which would become which become Joe. See, if you think about it, but the switch of language and stuff, they would have put Joshu right there. Now, this is from the French in them, because it was Joe it was Ah Suit Yashu it or Yoshu. You know what I'm saying? So with this coming forth, this would have been I am salvation and like French and Latin and stuff. This is where, um, in French, Joshu means, hold on, one sec, what does Joshu shoe mean in, like, Latin? I can't remember if it was Latin or, yeah, Yehoshua, right? So then you go down to French, because then you go to the French language, you end up getting, um, uh, I forgot how to, Or would it be Yashu in French? Oops. I read it here somewhere. I have to. Uh, I am salvation in French. So, yeah, I guess it even is just to us. There you go. Let's salute. 
So where they get salute or whatever. See? So I was right. They're basically taking Yanez and changes his name to Yeshu. But it's really, you get the picture. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. I will call the heart and the flesh as witnesses against you that have set before you life and death. Blessings and curses. Now choose life that your children may live and you may love who I am and listen to his voice, my voice. So like when people, what they're doing in psychology is this. This can be useful and very detrimental, right? Delute. Delusions, right? Delusions and delusions of grandeur. This is what I mean when I say the world is really crooked right now. Because if you go anywhere, they all want you to worship Christianity. But then when you get into the world, they try to label people with delusions and delusional behavior. But the book, if you go against it, it's saying to obey my voice. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is what I mean. And so hold fast to who I am, for I am life, and I will give you many years on the land I swore to give to your fathers. Ugh. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ugh. Joshua, Wani succeeds Yanez. <clears throat> then Moses went out and spoke for more seats because I don't want people to hear that and be like, okay. So then does, and this is what I mean with Hanan. The, um, what does Hanan mean in Arabic? That's how I knew it was Greek and Arabic people running around here. It's um, masculine name meaning gracious gift or grace, or compassion. And I found in some places, it means loving kindness. If I look up, um, oops, what does, shoot, what does, does Hannon mean? The word, word, Hannon mean in Arabic. Oh, that's why I'm in news. Yeah, I guess compression. I found some other sites that said it was um, loving and kindness. There we go, kindness now. But, um, yeah, so then you translate it down here. Does Yanez mean Wani? And even when I found out about that Nini that Nini yet name, yes, yeah, see, like Yohanan, I am gracious, God is gracious. So I didn't know that my name was the same as the guy's name who was crucified. It's really interesting. Um, and sometimes you got to deep dive with this stuff because a lot of different sites have information. So you got to be, see the Greek variant of of John. And Juan came before uh, John because Spanish was here before English. And so just putting that out there. Um, when Yanez went out and spoke these words to Israel, or I'm just going to pronounce it correctly, when Moses, I am now 120 years old and I am no longer able to lead you. Who I am has said to me, you shall not cross the Jordan. Um, who I am myself will cross over ahead of you. I will destroy the nations before you and you will take possession of their land. Wani also will cross over ahead of you as who I am said and who I will do to them what he did to see Han and OG, the kings of the Amorites, whom he destroyed along with their land, who I will deliver them to you and you must do to them that I have commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them for who I am goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you when Yanez summoned Wani and said to him in the presence of Israel, be strong and courageous for you must go with these people to the land that who I am swore to the ancestors to give them. You must divide it among them as their inheritance. Who I am himself will go before you and will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake thee. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And something else I wanted to put out there once and for all because the Christians and the Germans, they keep switching. In Greek was the, the mark of the beast. 
616. Look, the Arabic numeral 616, not 666. And then you could get this information in a lot of different places. So then you think about that. The Ark of the Covenant is the first three commandments, the spirits that hover above the waters. It has to do with the first day prophecy and the Noah and the flood prophecy when dealing with the seven rainbow colors in the sky and the seven days in creation. It's the other seven commandments. The whole covenant is written around the three and the seven equal to the ten. It's like a whole spiritual thing with poetry. But if you look at this, how many mitzvahs are there? And you heard what he said. The Pharisees and all them was the ones stoning Yannis back in the day, too. It was the Greeks becoming pagans. It was a whole bunch of stuff going on. But the mainstream religion of Aaron in the wilderness and all this other stuff was spreading throughout the land. So then it's the 616. It's a heavy, beastly law with a bunch of murder in it. Facilita there are also associates with the specific parts and therefore facilities of the human body. Known as the five books of Moses. They turned it into the body of murder. They struck the two stones holding the Ten Commandments. So then the angel of fire is coming back to tell the truth. So I just want y'all to know that you guys are turning a lot of real things into cosplay. So Yannis wrote down this law and gave it to the priest. Now, who wrote the who wrote the revelation? Who wrote the book of John and all sorts of stuff and started the prophets and the apostles? I mean, the apostles and who spread the truth of the Torah and the apostles in this book? Yannis, who carried the Ark of the Covenant for who I am. And for all the elders. And what was his name? Yehohanan. And who did Abraham follow? Yehovah. I'm telling you all. Then, Mo, then Yannis commanded them at the end of every seven years. And, and the year for canceling debts during the festival. And if you really read this book correctly. Um, Yahweh, who y'all keep talking about, JB. Even in the book, tried to abolish slavery. Said there would be no more slaves. And said the Ten Commandments is all about love and we're all going to be free. The whole sacrificial law, which is spread around by all these lying liars, got a bunch of people enslaved to murder, just like the Pope, just like the people in Leviticus spreading the lies about it all. When Israel comes to appear before who I am at the place I will choose, you shall read the law before them and their hearing. The Ten Commandments, assemble the people, men, women, and children, for not some pagan God, to free their souls, the circumcision of the heart. They were a free people. The sacrificial law, Yanez went to the cross and he taught the Ten Commandments. What did he say about all these heavy laws? Men, women, and children and foreigners residing in your town so they can listen and learn to fear who I am and follow carefully the words of the law. Their children who do not know this law must hear it so they can fear that which I am. As long as you live in the land crossing the Jordan to possess it, the Jordan. Who I am, said to Yanez, now the day of your death is near. Call Wani and present yourselves at the tent. Oh, Dracula. Meeting where I will commission him. So Yanez and Wani came and presented themselves in the tent meeting. Then who I am appeared in the tent and the pillar of the cloud, the pillar of fire, right? Yanez went up in the firestorm. And now who I am is coming with the angel of fire and the cloud stood over the entrance of the tent and who I am said to Yanez, you are going to rest with your ancestors and these people will soon prostitute themselves to foreign gods in the land they're entering. They will forsake me and break the covenant I made with them. And in that day, I will become angry with them and forsake them. I will hide my face from them and they will be destroyed. Many disasters and calamities, the dark ages. And calamities will come on them. And in that day they will ask, have not these disasters come on us because who I am is not with them? And I will certainly hide my face. The face, right? I keep telling you I had the dream of seeing the face. This is wild. And that day because of their wickedness and the turning to other I am's. Nephilim, other men. Now write down this song and teach it to the Israelites and have them sing it. And so that it may be a witness for me for me against them when I have brought them to the land flowing with the milk of honey, milk and honey, the land I promised on their ancestors. Now look at the day and age we're, we're wake up in, especially us in America. We got freedoms now, even though it's still kind of bad with the Nazis, we can battle it. I'm gonna teach y'all how to fight with the word and spirit and teach y'all how to be righteous and kind and be loving like Martin Luther King and William Tyndale. And I'm gonna teach y'all how to righteously wield the staff and the cloak. 
Now, this is what I do have to say. I'm telling all this, your house is Jesus and all this other stuff. I'm showing y'all what stuff means. And it's I am gracious salvation. It went from Yanez to Yannon to Yeshu to Yahshua to then Jesus somehow. I don't even. So um, they will return to other I am's and worship them, rejecting me, breaking my covenant. And many with disasters and calamities will come onto them. Now white supremacy and Nazism. This song will testify against them because it will not be forgotten by their descendants. I know what they are disposed to do. Even before I bring them into the land, I promise them on the oath. So Yanez wrote down this song, the lamb and the song of Moses, right? Thank you. On day five, all those martyrs from a thousand, all those martyrs from a thousand to two thousand. In the fifteen hundreds, y'all see what happened when William Tyndale tried to come forth. And then when uh, Martin Luther King Jr. tried to come forth, who I am gave this commandment to Josh Tawani, son of Nun. Be strong and courageous. Swanee Jr., son of Wani, or Giannis, however y'all want to look at it. Be strong and courageous, for you will bring the Israelites to the land I promised them an oath, and I myself will be with you. After Giannis finished writing in a book the words of the law from the beginning to end, he gave this commandment to the Levites who carried the Ark of the Covenant for who I am. Take this book of the law and place it beside your Ark of the Covenant in your land, of who I am, and there will be a remain as a witness against you. For I know how rebellious and stiff-necked you are. If you have been rebellious against who I am while I am still alive with you, how much more will you rebel after I die? How true is that? Um, so watch this. Assemble before me all the elders of your tribes and your officials so that I can speak these words into the hearing and call the hearts and the, of the flesh to testify against them. For I know that after my death, after death, you all are sure to become utterly corrupt. Um, this time I yawn is the one that was crucified and turn away from what I've commanded you. And the days to come disaster to, will follow upon them. And you will do that which I am not in the sight of who I am and arouse my anger by what your hands have made. The song of Moses. Now watch this. And John the Baptist uh, we'll testify to this. That's wild and it's amazing to me. They call it the oral Torah. <laughs> I am who I am. I am sent me. I am the one who rescued you from the from the house of bondage, the place of slavery. You must put no other gods before who I am. You must not make for yourself an idol of any kind or image, anything in the heart of the flesh, of the heart and the flesh, or in the heavens and the earth, or beneath the books, the names. You must not bow down to them or worship them, for I am jealous and will not tolerate your affection for any gods, any I am's. I let the sins of the parent unto the children. The entire family is affected. You must not take who I am in vain. I will not let those who misuse my name go unpunished. Thou shalt not kill or rape, uh-oh. Thou shalt not steal, uh-oh. Thou shalt not covet for thy neighbor's house or land, uh-oh. Thou shalt not commit adultery, uh-oh. Against me or your wives, lol, uh-oh. Become sodomites. Y'all have become sodomites. Thou shalt not bear false witness and lie on others or against me, oops, uh-oh. Thou shalt honor thy father and mother. Have not done that for your ancestors in the African nations at all or in the land of Canaan. Keep the day of rest holy. Uh-oh, y'all are working on day seven, right? Murdering, right? Then here's some that I would like to give out on behalf of the apostles and the prophets. Thou shalt not kill renegade and another forefather. Son of Ham, is that who I am? Tortured by literature, condensed to a can, completed by Satan's signature, signature. It's time to carry out the plan. Twelve more plus the twelve from before because they're stiff-necked, hard-headed peoples. Call this man crazy if you wish. I'll bring 144 more with the same phrases in a new dish. Will these outweigh the rest? Or, was I, or will I chisel away until nothing's left? Thou shalt not kill written again because they seem to be hard-headed. Unless for food purposes, not talk about cannibalism. The designated animal sacrificed to eat beef, chicken, lamb, fish. You know what I'm talking about. Or the last actual animals. Or last resort, self-defense, survival purposes. This ain't a metaphor like the beginning of the word. Talk about the seven-day prophecy. Actual animals. That shall be kind. But if people want to eat plants, whatever. 
That seems to be a really healthy diet too. Thou shalt be kind and respect others. Thou shalt not enslave. Thou shalt protect the children or the child. Thou shalt not consort. Thou shalt not consort, consort sneakily in the dark to constrict, ensnare, manipulate into corruption or cause harm to others, even for monetary gain. Thou shalt help the elderly and weak and orphans. Thou shalt not litter. The rich shall, meaning from this point on, mega CEO rich and rich rich, I don't care, how, the rich. Realize money is just paper from trees and will begin using their imaginary dendritic monopoly currency to help the hopeless, homeless, starving poor, and begin fixing the infrastructure of the human race, all living beings, and or all living beings, in the, you know what I'm talking about. Don't mix that up with what I was talking about with animals free. Thou shalt not exalt thy racial culture to be esteemed higher than any others because of subjective stupidity. That I'm not calling people stupid. I'm saying because of subjective stupidity. Thou shalt not create torment or cruel punishments on behalf of your judicial justice system, military, or imaginary religious beliefs. In the beginning was the word and the word was with who I am and the word was who I am because we all have our own worlds and though we need baptized as we grow with the word not all types of different words the righteous ones the same was in the beginning with who I am all things were made by who I am each and every one of you was it not you have your own worlds and without who I am was nothing made that was made and who I am is life I don't dwell in temples made by human hands although in a weird way that kind of isn't true because we need houses and stuff to live in or infrastructure. You know what I'm talking about. And life is the, and that is the life of who we are. The, and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not apparently in the past, but now they will. As I was with Yehohanan, Yanez, so will I be with you. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Be strong and courageous or wani. Love who I am with all your heart and soul. And with all your strength and all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself, I am love and all who live in me, I am them. And as we live in who I am, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but can face who I am with confidence because we live like the lamb here in this world. Such love has no fear because perfect love casts out fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows we have not fully experienced perfect love. Don't see that and be like, I'll just be a fucking asshole. Don't think because you are children of Wani that you can run around and act a nut and think that'll bring in a perfect world. That doesn't even make sense. It's cool to have fun, but LOL. We love each other because he loved us first. I bless those who are poor and realize their need for who I am, for the kingdom of the heart is theirs. I bless those who mourn, for they will be comforted. But that doesn't give people a ticket to have to mourn to be blessed. I bless those who are humble, for they will inherit their flesh, their world, their kingdom. I bless those who thirst and hunger for justice, for they will be satisfied. I bless those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. I bless those whose hearts are pure, for they will see who I am. I bless those who work for peace, for they will be called children of who I am. I bless those who are persecuted for doing what's right, because the kingdom of the heart is theirs, because they do what's right. And people in the future will see this. I bless you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you because they're hating themselves, actually, and say all sorts of bad things against you because you're my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in the heart. Not that vain religious shit. I'm talking about doing what's right. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted the same way. So my right might not be the same as the right in the future. We evolve, just like how slavery was abolished. Because when you guys see Yanez doing all that stuff about the Messiah and all that, what you're seeing is him breaking away from religion and doing what he wants, not bringing a religion. For our struggle is not against people, sometimes, but against rulers, against the authorities, against teachings in this dark world and the spiritual forces of who I am not in the heart. Now, Yanin or Yanez was also baptizing at Anan near Salem because there was plenty of water and people were coming and being baptized. And an agreement developed between some of Yanez's disciples and a certain you over a matter of ceremonial washing. And they came to Yan 
Yanez and said to him, Rabbi, this man who was with you on the other side of the Jordan, he is the one you testified about. Look, um, he is baptizing and everyone is going to him. To this, Yanez replied, a person can only receive what is given to them from the heart. You yourselves can testify that I said I am not the Messiah, but sent ahead of him. The bride belongs to the bridegroom, and whoever has accepted it has certified that I am truthful. For the one whom I have sent speaks the words of mine, for I give the spirit without limit. I love us, the children, and has placed everything in our hands. I am who I am. I am the Messiah. All righty. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep her. Um, and Moses and Yanez recited the words of this song from beginning to the end, hearing of the whole assembly of Israel. Listen, you hearts, and I will speak. Hear, you flesh, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching fall like rain and my words descend like the dew, like the, like the words in the ark, like shout and rise with me. Don't let me flood you, so to speak, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plains. But remember the covenant in the sky, the other seven commandments. I will proclaim the name of who I am. Oh, praise the greatness of that which I am. I am the rock. My works are perfect and all my ways are just. I am faithful and does and can do no wrong upright i am they are corrupt and not my children to their shame they are warped and crooked gen they are a warped and crooked generation is this the way you repent to who i am repay who i am you foolish and unwise people is he not your father the creator who made you and formed you remember the days of old consider the generations long past if, as you awaken and break away from Babylon religion and lies, you start to see that this is talking to oneself. It's trying to awaken your spirits, my spirit, and make you mighty, so to speak. If you read the prophets and the heart of Moses for real with the Ten Commandments and how he dealt with Pharaoh, the real story of Moses before all this air in the wilderness stuff, you will see what I mean. Ask your father and he will tell you your elders and they will explain to you when the Most High gave the nations their inheritance when he divided all mankind he set up boundaries for the peoples according to the number of sons of israel for that which i am portioned to my people jacob uh, his allotted inheritance in a desert land he found him in a barren and howling waste he shielded him and cared for him he guarded him as the apple of his eye like the eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers over its young that spread the, its wings to catch them and carries them aloft. Who I am alone led him. No foreign I am's was with him. He made him ride on the heights of the land and fed him the fruits of the field. He nourished him with the honey from the rock and with oil from the flinty crag, with curds and milk from herd and flock, with flattened lambs and goats, with choice rams of Bashan. See, it's saying once he once he got the name, remember who I what's your name? And he gave him the name and he named him Israel. Remember, I will come down and give them new names. So that was Israel's name, or whatever happened. We're speaking English. And so what ends up happening is the dude becomes wise and efficient now. And the dude becomes a new poet and starts gathering and creating a spiritual world where all this is possible, if that makes sense, through word and spirit. And so this is just like a metaphor, if you will, of our forefathers that started to create the word. Just you run, grew fat and kicked, filled with food. They became heavy and sleek. They abandoned that which I am who made them and rejected the rock, their savior, the law, uh, the Ten Commandments or the life within. They made him. They made me jealous with their foreign gods and I am's and anger me with their detestable idols. They sacrificed to false gods, which are not that which I am. Gods they had not known. Gods that recently appeared. Gods your ancestors did not fear. You deserted the rock who fathered you. You forgot that which I am who gave you birth. Who I am saw this and rejected them because he was angered by his sons and daughters. I will hide my face from them, I said, and see what their end will be. For they are a perverse generation. 
children who are unfaithful. So once again, as I said, this is talking a metaphorical thing. They made me jealous by what is no God and worshiped a piece of wood and angered me with their worthless idols. I will make them envious by those who are not a people. I will make them angry by a nation that has no understanding. For a fire will be kindled by my wrath, one that burns down to the realm of the dead below, to the flesh or the Gentiles. It will devour the flesh and its harvest and set afire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap calamities on them and spend my, my arrows against them. I will send wasting famine against them consuming pestilence and deadly plague. So this is basically talking about the religions and all the things that they created and the things that they, and honestly, if you don't believe me from this um, right here, you can go to YouTube and type this in real quick and understand what I mean when I say this. Um, church, his story, this right here. And they will show you and teach you every single creed for two hours that just for the last 2,000 years that they have created. You know what I'm saying? It's like ridiculous. So this is a great documentary if you want to learn about some truth. Um, <laughs> just in that aspect alone, let's not even talk about ancient times like in uh, the Levant and in Africa and what they will call Egypt now and Nubia and Kush and all that. I will send against them fangs of wild beasts, the venom of vipers that glide into the dust, and the streets the word will make them childless or make them unbearing. So then instead of being able to create new concepts, and when people try to create new concepts, what ended up happening? The new gods tried to crucify them and, and lay them on poles and stakes in real time in history. And so then they couldn't come forth. Even I'm starting to recently learn that the philosophers were hated too in Greece. Technically, the philosophers were like prophets. They had their own time period too. <clears throat> um, the young men and young men, women will perish. So then this is living out to where when people try to come out with new stuff, like Pharaoh drowning the children and the word, when people try to come forth with new stuff, the Christians and the Catholics and the different sections of um, Protestants and, you know, even, well, I don't know what to call them, like Jews or Persians and Babylonians and Canaanites that was living the law of the beast, the 616 out in the Levant at that time, stoning people and killing people. I said I will scatter them and erase their name from human memory, but I declare dreaded the taunt of the enemy lest the adversary misunderstand and say our hand has triumphed and who i am has not done this there are a nation without a sense they are a nation without sense there is no discernment in them if only they were wise and would understand this and discern what their end will be how could one man cho chase a thousand or to put 10,000 to fight unless their rock has sold them, unless who I am has given them up. For their rock is not like our rock. And even our enemies concede their vine comes from the vine of Sodom. So when it talks about people selling their own people, basically a person first gets entangled by Babylon or this religion, then they become pastors or preachers or per surveyors of this word. And then when they get other people terrified and caught within it, they just sold out other humans for Babylon's cause, so to speak, if that makes sense. Their vine comes from the vine of Sodom and from the fields of Gomorrah, with their grapes are filled with poison. So they're talking about religion from these people's bullcrap and their clusters with bitterness. Their wine is the venom of serpents, it, the deadly poison of cobras. See. Like, this is what I'm telling y'all. First, Moses says he gives the righteous law from the heart. Then he shows how through Aaron and them taking his name, once he was on somebody's mountain, they destroyed it. The two stones, the prophets and the apostles. Now watch this, the Judah and Tumar prophecy. We'll say Joshua was the first judge, so we'll call him Judah, right? Then we'll say there was three judges, Samson, Gideon. I mean, the three corrupt judges, Samson, I mean, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Samuel, Samson, and Jephthah, whatever his name is. It's J-E-P something. The three corrupt judges. And then you look at that, that would be the first three sons, On and Ur and Shelah. So if you really pay attention, Japheth or the Pope had continued running around acting rampant. So then you have the 
not the Pope, but how it lived out through the Pope. But you see that in real time, how basically they kept Joshua, the judges or whatever, and just kept the total. So then you look even further, the two that was born after that, the apostles and the prophets. The prophets came first, then the apostles, but then who I am came out at the end like the fire as a prophet. If that makes sense. Um, so then the reason I brought that up is because Moses is telling y'all, he basically prophesied it. Even Yanez did too. So look at Yanez like Moses. Yanez or John the Baptist said, Josh, he talked about the corruption. He destroyed the God at the time, the Caesars and stuff. Like Moses did the Egyptian man that was oppressing them. Then he said, because of their idolatry and paganism, they was going to run through Europe and destroy a bunch of stuff, becoming a beast, a dragon, and a false prophet. And then basically he said it was going to happen, and then it happened. Like, I don't know what else to tell people. And so then look at Moses the same. They struck the rock twice. The apostles, they kept killing the prophets and the apostles. Stuck the rock. So then once they got the stone, um, they struck them and then used them as nourishment afterwards. And then got caught in the wilderness. And now who I am is here to free. Um, I have not kept this in reserve. Um, oh, their wine is like venom from serpents, the deadly poison of cobras. I have not kept this in reserve and sealed it into my vaults. Remember, the, the serpent will slither into the garden. So then what happened? Amos and the Africans fought the Hyksos one. And when he created a world, other pharaohs after him became like Ramses and serpents and started oppressing with it. It is mine to avenge. I will repay. And due time, their foot will slip. Their day of disaster is near. And their doom rushes upon them. Who I am will vindicate my people and relent concerning my servants. When I see their strength is gone and no one is left, slave or free. I will say now, where is their gods? The rock they took refuge in. The gods who ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up to you. Let them give you shelter. See now that I myself am he. Thank you. There is none besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal. So this is talking about spiritually. I am spirit. So people will end up going mad and reprobate, right? Playing with these gods and religions and stuff and then all this other stuff. And no one can deliver out of mine hand. Now think about that. If you're the one that's going through it, as I've said, many of my videos are seed growing within. Only you, only who I am can deal with that. It's called knowing thyself. I lift my hand to the heart and solemnly swear, as surely as I live forever, when I sharpen my flashing sword, the word, and my hand again and my hand grasps it in judgment, I will take vengeance on my adversaries and repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood the of the pagan calves they built. Nephilims. While my sword devours their buffoonery. The statues or temples that they built of paganism, eat of eat and drink of nothing with lifeblood. This is talk about Nephilims. The blood of the slain and the captives and the head of the enemy leaders. Rejoice, you nations, with this people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants. He will take vengeance on his enemies and make an atonement for the land and people. Yanez came with Wani, son of Nun, and spoke all these words in the song of hearing to the people. So anybody that's Christian and says... Uh, this is the old law and isn't true. This is basically all what John the Baptist wrote anyway in the Old Testament or whatever. And I mean, in the Revelation and throughout John and anybody that's scientific that want to argue with me, this literally lived out through the Catholic Church, Protestants, the Arabs, the Persians, the Muslims. I mean, the Persians, the, the Babylonians, the Greeks, the Romans. I mean, what I don't when Yanez finished reciting all the words to Israel. He said to them, take to heart all the things that have declared to you this day so that you may command your children to obey all the words of the law. They are not just idle words for you. They are your life. By them, you will live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess. Right. Yon is the Baptist. Um, on that same day, who I am told Yon is, go up to Abram range to the Mount Nebo and Moab across from Jericho and view Canaan. The land I am giving to the Israelites is their own possession. So now we can read this book and not be terrified, eat up, suit, eat up, be strong and survive and live and know the word and spirit and become kings. The kings that we're meant to be the I am's. We are the I am's greater. We will do. Now you can read Yanez and the red writing or 
yes, whatever, Jan is, because it says John the Baptist, and understand what he was doing and not make him your God, but become God's yourself, I am's yourselves. And understand his example. There on the mountain that you have climbed, you will die and be gathered to your people. Just as your brother Aaron died on Mount Hor and was gathered to his people. That's basically like Muhammad. I hate to say it, but that dude <laughs> went ham. This is because both of you broke faith with me in the presence of the Israelites at the waters of Meribah, Kadesh, in the desert of Zen, and because you did not uphold my holiness among the Israelites. Therefore, you will see the land only from a distance. You will not enter the land I am giving these people. Now we born in a day of technology and all type of wild stuff. This is wild. This is blessing. This is the blessing that um, Jan is, the man of who I am pronounced. Now, if you have a problem with what I'm saying, even if you go read about Jesus, this is the same stuff Jesus was saying. I'm only saying that name to help y'all understand what I'm talking about. He said, who I am came from Sinai and dawned over them in Seor, from Seor. He shone forth from Mount Paran. He came with myriads of holy ones from the south, from his mountain slopes with apostles um, and the 144 and all that. Surely it is you who love the people and the holy ones are in your hand. Um, at your feet, they all bow down. And from you, they receive instruction, the law that uh, Yanez gave us, and the possession of the assembly of Jacob. He was king over Jeshurun. If you look at Jacob, if you take away the A and the C, you get Job. You see what I'm saying? And so then if you look at it in, in ancient times, um, if you look at Job and compare it to Jacob, that's basically what happened. I mean, the dude was the dude started cursing his own family, right? What did Jacob do in the blessings when it came down to it? He changed his name to um Egyptian gods, Isis Rael, right? He got the word and spirit and used it and started cursing his family, just like Job. Then when darkness came and overcame him because of his word and spirit, then he needed rescue by all the other prophets, the other four books, right? Um, you have Moses and, and the whatever, but then you have the judges, the prophets and the apostles. You have Joshua and the judges, Elijah and the, and the or Zoroaster and the prophets, however you want to look at it. And then Yanez, John the Baptist, and the apostles. And then the fourth one, from a distance, the young in me, Wani, talking to whatever, with the body of whatever, along with the tribes of Israel. Let Reuben live and not die, nor his people be few. And this he said about Judah. Hear who I am, the cry of Judah. Bring him to his people. With his own hand, he defends his cause. Oh, be his help against his foes. About Levi, he said, your Timon and Urim belong to your faithful servant. You, you tested him at Mesa. You contended with him at the waters of Meribah. It's just like J uh, Israel. He said of his father and mother, I have no regard for them. And in terms of if you look at the time when Israel came, that would be talking about the Hyksos versus the Egyptians or the Hyksos versus the Africans. It would be a prophecy talking about how when the Hyksos invaded Africa and then you have both the Africans and the Hyksos coming together. And so then what would be considered Esau will be Jacob. You would have the Hyksos who ended up stealing the Africans blessing and started writing law and stuff. They got overturned. Look what's even happening to the Arabs now. And then once they met back with the Africans again, the Africans were like, yo, we trying to be up because even look at the white supremacists. They keep talking about the blacks are going to come back and take over and do it. It's like, no, we're not. For all this time, we should be mad. And we still loving y'all. You see what I'm saying? It's like living out. He said because Caucasian is Asiatic. So technically, it's just a lighter form of Asian. Oh, shit. They're kind of like Jacob. In a sense, historically speaking, and now because they come from Asiatic lands, I have no regard for them. He did not recognize his brothers or acknowledge his own children. Damn, Jacob, y'all destroying y'all own people over there, Israel. But he watched over your word and he guarded your covenant. I sure did. I tried to. He teaches your precepts to Jacob and your law to Israel. He offers incense before you and the whole burnt offerings is in your altar. Bless all his skills and be pleased with the work of his hands. Strike down those who rise against him, his foes till they rise no more. About Benjamin, he said, let the beloved, let my beloved rest secure in him, 
for he shields him all day long and the and who I am and my love rests between his shoulders about Joseph. He said, may who I am bless his land with the precious dew from the heart above and with the deep waters that lie below with the precious words from the heart and the peoples that um, walk among us, the living waters with the best the sun brings forth and the finest the moon can yield with the choicest gifts and the ancient mountains and the fruitfulness of the everlasting hills with the best gifts of the flesh and its fullness and the favor of him who dwelt in the burning bush. Yeah. <laughs> Let all those rest on the head of Joseph on the brow of the prince among his brothers and majesty. He is like the firstborn firstborn bull. His horns are the horns of a wild ox with them he will gore the nations even those to the ends of the flesh which is kind of true because like i told y'all what happened with joseph was deal with came peter and then paul after that which is basically like or around that time the greek philosophers what it which ended up being like paul the two horns of joseph such are the ten thousands of Ephraim, such are the thousands of manessa about zebulun he said rejoice zebulun and you're going out and you, Issachar, in your tents, they will summon peoples to the mountain and there will offer sacrifices of the righteous. They will feast on your abundance in the seas and the treasures in the seas. And I see how he said he set up the whole wilderness to punish them. So all that 616 stuff literally was the mark of the beast. And it was a murderous law and all that other foolishness. And now he's talking about follow the covenant like of the burning bush. What was the burning bush? The Ten Commandments. The angel of fire that led Joshua. On the treasures hidden between the sand about Gad, he said, blessed is he who enlarges Gad's domain. Gad lives there like a lion tearing at arm or head. He chooses the best land for himself. The leader's portion was kept for him. When the heads of the people assemble, he carried out who I am's righteous, righteous will and his judgments concerning Israel about Dan, Dan Hannon. <laughs> he said, Dan is like a lot is a lion's cub. Springing out of Bashan about Neftali, he said, Neftali is about abounding with favor of who I am. Yeah, let's go, Neftali. And Moses and Joshua and all their wives was named Nefertiti. Interesting. And is full of his blessing. Yes, awesome. Somebody called me. They said my words were like, like Neftali, like a, um, like a free, uh, what's it called? The name of a horse or something like that. He will inherit the southward to the lake. Thank you. I did come out the burning lake, did I not? <laughs> About Asher, he said, most blessed of sons is Asher. Yeah. Let him be favored by his brothers and let him bathe his feet in oil. The bolts of your gates will be iron and bronze. Your strength will equal your days. There is none like who I am. Of Jeshua, who Jeshu, like I was saying, <laughs> who rides across the heart to help you on the clouds and his majesty. I am your eternal refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. I will drive out your enemies before you saying, destroy them. So Israel will live in safety. So a lot of this is talk about how the word and spirit comes in oneself, builds a fortress, the new Jerusalem, and then you become whole or new. Jacob will dwell secure in a land of grain and new wine where the heart drop new information and love and do blessed are you Israel who is like you a people saved by who I am who is like I am he is your shield and helper and your righteous glorious sword word your enemies will cover cower before you and you will tread their heights. When Yanez climbed into Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab um, across from Jericho, there, were, there who I am showed him the whole land from Gilad to Dan to all of, all of Naphtali and the territory of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the Mediterranean Sea, the Negev and the whole region from the valley of Jericho, the city of Palms as far as Zor. Then who I am said to him, this is the land I am promised to owe to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When I said, I will give it to your descendants, I have let you see it with your own eyes, but you will not cross over into it. And Moses and Yanez, the servant of who I am, died there in Moab. 
as Huan said, he he I buried him in Mob in the valley of shit of Beth Pure, Bethlehem. Huh? This, but to this day, no one knows where his grave is. I found it. Huan was 120 years old when he died. Um, I'm sorry, Moses was 120 years old when he died. Yet his eyes were not weak nor his strength gone. It's kind of like the 1200 year prophecy, and um. In the uh, books of Daniel and stuff, because around 300 BC or 300 AD, they finally made Christianity the major religion, religion of Rome and stuff, which would mean 1200 years later, the 42 months and the 1500s, that's when William Tyndale broke free. And for his sacrifice, they had started something new. But then that's when Martin Luther went to German princes, got rich, and became a racist. Now Joshua, son of Nun, Wani, son of Nun, filled with the spirit of wisdom because Yanez had laid his hands on him. It's the same as Elijah giving Elisha the cloak and the fire, so to speak. Um, so the Israelites listened to him and did what Huan commanded Yanez. Since then, no prophet has revenant. Now, I, since John the Baptist, since Yanez, there was another greatest prophet, a wild man from the wilderness, whom Huan knew face to face. Who did all those signs and wonders who I have sent him to do in Rome to the Fuhrer and to all the officials and to his whole land? For no one has ever shown the mighty power performed the awesome deeds that Yanez did in the sight of Israel. The books of Wani and the judges tell the story of the early years of Israel as a nation. They describe how the Israelites conquer and occupy the land of Canaan and then struggle to live up to their covenant with who I am. The Bible's drama here moves to an important new stage. My people are in my land. Yet it becomes clear that the road to reconciliation to who I am and humanity will not be easy. The story describes the preparations and battles of the invasions, well as the land divided amongst the tribes. So see, this is what I mean when I say now, it's like a loop or an Ouroboros. Two men come, the two servants, the two witnesses, they go down and blah, 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 and do it all, and it keeps happening. I'm here to try to avoid that, but I can only do what I can, and based on history. Uh, so, I hope that was helpful to you all, and I love you all, and stay blessed. There was something else that I was looking into, but I wasn't sure if I was going to... There was a prophet with like one book, I think it was, but he was frying Israel. I was like, oh shit, this boy's speaking facts. Here we go, Obidia. Obidia. <laughs> Obi Wan. <laughs> oh, Edom. We were just talking about Edom, was we not? This is what Who I Am says. We have heard a message from Who I Am. And envy was sent to the nations to say, Rise, let us go against her for battle. See, I will make you small amongst the nations. You will be utterly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You who lived in the clefts of the rocks, they will flee to rocks and say, hide me. You make your home on the heights and who, and you who say to yourself, who can bring me down to the ground? The same thing they did in the floods, right? Through, though you soar like an eagle and make your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down who I am not and the third of his angels declares who I am once we see the paganism and the lies and the hatred and the book that they possess if, but this isn't really talking about actual men this is talking about the concepts and men and things in your heart that get cast down when who I am awaken and the spirit awakens after the word teaches them righteously if thieves came to you if robbers and Yanez is kind of like, remember I said Elijah, like Michael, who is like I am, and it's battling the darkness in the heart until who I am not gets cast down, and then who I am uses the fire to battle on the flesh um, or amongst the flesh. Um, if robbers in the night, oh, what a disaster awaits you. Would they not steal only as much as they wanted? If grape pickers came to you, would they not leave a few grapes? But now Esau will be ransacked, his hidden treasures pillaged. All your allies will force you to the border. Your friends will deceive you and overpower you. Those who eat your bread will strap for you, but you will not detect it. So look at this, right? I'm going to really explain Jacob and Esau and then 
explain like how they came from the ancestors of Africa. Look at Africa like Abraham, or even before Abraham, look at Africa. Abraham went into Africa and made their children a part of Pharaoh's children. Because remember it says, Pharaoh slept with Abraham's wife first, and then Abraham's wife gave Pharaoh to an Egyptian, or Abraham to an Egyptian woman. Yeah, so either way you want to look at it. So when you look at it, you have the Africans who originally lived there. They had societies. They're talking about. I seen another post that said aliens helped build these pyramids and temples 25,000 years ago. It's a bunch of hatred and racism. I mean, it's obviously what it is. But anyways, the point is, when you get down to what's serious, you would have Africa who minding their business, but then Asiatic shepherd kings or a part of Asia comes in, like Babylonians and Indus Valley and Assyrians, and they create the Hebrews through the Hyksos, or pharaohs later down the line. Well, then they start all this oppression through the land, and then eventually they create these beasts. Well, if you look at that in real time, the Arab nation was following Persia, right? And they created like the bear. Well, then you look even further with that, they would be like Esau. They was hunting first. But then the Caucasians in Europe got involved and claimed they were the holy seed, stole the blessing from their big brother Esau, or the Arabs, and now they're aggressing when crossing the river, if that makes sense. So those of understanding and the mountains of Esau, your warriors of Timon, they will be terrified, and everyone in Esau's mountains will be cut down and slaughtered. Because look what the Arabs did to North Africa first. But then look how it manifests now with South Africa and with Israel. Because of the violence against your brother Jacob. Told you, you will be covered with shame. You will be destroyed forever. On the day you stood aloof, while strangers carried his wealth and his foreigners and entered his gates, you cast lots for Jerusalem. You were like, this, okay, so look, they cast lots for Jerusalem. They threw Joseph in a pit. They threw Jonah in a pit. Josephus went to Titus and Vespasian after taking Yannis' name. Peter told the man at the gate, look at John the Christ, Yannis the Christ, Jesus the Christ, before they went to the gate. Is it all starting to come together? You should not gloat over your brother in the day of his misfortune, nor rejoice over the people of Judah in the day of their destruction, nor boast so much in the day of their trouble. You should not march through the gates of my people in the day of their disaster, nor gloat over them in their calamity in the day of their disaster. See, even the Lord saying, like, even if something's happening to people, you shouldn't want them destroyed or harmed. You should want to help them and be kind to them. Uh-oh, another win for the prophets. And the day of the disaster. So even though what I tell y'all, even though the Arabs were violent and Muslims and Islam, and they were talking about Africans and servants and slaves and what they call them coffers and stuff and goyims, the Jews are doing it now too, and Palestine and them, they're acting like Nazis. I mean, and uh, Israel and Judah, Jewish, whatever they're called, they're all getting a part of the same seed, the fruits, and it rubs off. But I can still have love for them and advocate for them when bad happens, nor gloat over them in their calamity and the day of their disaster, nor seize their wealth and the day of their disaster. So even look how that manifests in America. At first, the people said slavery was OK and they hated slaves. Then they lost all their jobs. And when freedom fighters tried to come forth, then they had, once they had to become equal, then they were detasseling. Then they had to work hard for their stuff. Then industrialization happened, and then the Caucasians became a part of the corporation plantation. And then they had industrialism and coal mines and hard working conditions. Now in this day and age, they're not giving nobody jobs and treating all dads a part of the system now. The black man problems leased onto the white man, and now white men are paying child support and watching their kids. See when you and now these people they're making fun of public aid and SSI and food stamps, but then when COVID and hurricanes hit, they all want federal aid and, and Medicaid. You see what happens when you mock your enemies. That's why I say I don't help people, but want us all to be freed and helped. You should not wait at the crossroads to cut down their fugitives, nor hand over their survivors in the day of their trouble. That's why no matter what people teach me about Russia, I did research and saw that Nazis were bombing stuff in the name of ISIS and doing all the crying and crazy stuff and killing Russian civilians. So I broke away from that whole Soviet Russia, blah, 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 looked at what Putin is doing now and understand that he's fighting Nazis, just like a lot of America claims to do to these Middle Eastern people. Just as you drank on my holy hill, so all the nations will drink continually. They will drink and drink and be as they never had been just like the 
Babylon scriptures, right? John basically put it all together so we could have it in a book. But on Mount Zion will be deliverance. It will be a holy and Jacob will possess his inheritance. Jacob will be a fire and Joseph a flame. Esau will be a stubble and they will set him on fire and destroy him. Not literally. You see what they're doing with the word calling Caucasians Esau now. I'm telling you how this lives out. There will be no survivors from Esau. This is talking about their concepts and the Lord Jesus Christ and how everybody's being mocked in Christianity. Who I am has spoken. From the people of Negev will occupy the mountains of Esau. The cavemen. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the people of the foothills will possess the land of the Philistines. Now you see what these cavemen, ex-cavemen Barnabases are doing, right? This is a hate speech. This is real lineage history. They will occupy the hills of Euphraim and Samaria. And Benjamin will possess Galeed. The company of Israelite exiles who are in Canaan will possess the land as far as Zarephath. The exiles from Jerusalem who are in Sepharad will possess the towns of Negev. Deliverers will go up on Mount Zion to govern the mountains of Esau and the kingdoms will be who I am. So I hope you all can enjoy that and get that for edification. Stay amazing and continue to learn and grow and understand and come together as humanity as one in, un in unity and diversity and love and freedom for all men and women.